This docking station is designed for the Mac Mini M4, but it also works with iOS, Android, and even works with Windows. This is the Oracle Mini Dock. It takes a SSD M.2 up to 8 terabytes and features 10 ports, including a 4K HDMI output so that we can connect up to two displays to the Mac Mini up to 4K at 60 hertz. If we use a Windows computer, we will have the same access to displays, one being from the computer and the other one being from the mini dock. But if we use a Android or iOS phone, then we will have access to everything right over here, including the storage, but only one output, which is the HDMI on the mini dock, because the phone only has the USB type C port. And then we connect here, we will have access to everything. Storage, for example, I can use the internal SSD up to eight terabytes, or I can use the micro SD or SD card, but there will be no two displays on the phone. And that would be useless because the phone, at least at the moment of the recording, screen extended. Now, here at the front, it has one USB Type-C port 10 gigabit, two USB Type-A ports, one is 10 gigabit and the other one is a 5 gigabit, one SD and micro SD card slots, and then at the back, one USB Type-C with power delivery up to 100 watts so that we can charge any device, one USB Type-C port to connect to our computer, one HDMI port that we can get 4K at 60 hertz, and one gigabit Ethernet port. Now using the Oriku mini docking station we are using two 4K displays at 60 Hz, one of which is connected directly to the Mac mini and the other one is connected to the docking station. We are going to do a few tests right over here. Let's start with the internal SSD which I did install inside the Oriku docking station. We just need to remove one screw and then place in the M.2 SSD and that is it. So let's test out the speeds because there's something interesting here. So if we open and start the speed test, we will see that although the maximum capacity or the maximum speed is 10 gigabit or 1000 megabytes per second, we are reaching roughly 1700 megabytes per second on writes and roughly 820 on reads. So we're supposed to have a maximum of 1000 here. We are getting more on the writes and on the reads, I would say that between 800, 950 would be the normal number for 10 gigabit. Here, it's above normal. So let's stop this and let's test out this external SSD, which is right over here, connected the USB Type-C, which is also a 10 gigabit uh, connection. And we are going to select this SSD here. Let's open and bam, the same behavior. I was watching this earlier. 1700 megabytes per second. It doesn't matter if it's the internal M.2 SSD or if it's a USB Type-C on the 10 gigabit connection. We also have two other USB Type-A 10 gigabit, so I suppose that we will get the same speed. But let's test out the SD card. So let's select the SD card right over here. And there we go, SD card, let's open up. And this is an SD card that will go up to 200 megabytes of sustainable speed. We can see that it will go up to a maximum of 500, 600 megabytes per second, but then it will go down to the um, maximum of the card, which is 200 megabytes per second. Now here it will get lower uh, numbers. So this will depend on the card that we are using. We definitely can uh, be above 500 or 600 megabytes per second on the docking station but with the limitations of the card as we can see right over there it will lower down and here the maximum that the card is capable of doing is 85 90 megabytes per second reads and on writes so in terms of connectivity simple as this i could place in right over here or above on this shelf but here i can hide the cables and then i still have a lot of connectivity we can connect the ethernet port down at the back we also have a usb type c one a power deliver usb type C as well, type A with 10 gigabit speed and the HDMI which is connected to one of the displays and the other one on the docking station. 